Water from any municipal source, city water, has already been partially treated from your family. But because most municipalities get their water from wells, that water is often quite hard. Why is it hard? Because water is a natural solvent. So what that means is um, it dissolves whatever comes into contact with it. So those minerals that are in the ground, the hardness minerals, which is calcium, magnesium, other minerals like iron, etc., get absorbed by that, uh, that water. So often water from municipal water sources is hard. Why is that a concern? Well, there's a few areas. First of all, did you know that if you have a tankless hot water heater, you have to have a water softener because if you don't, it will clog up that tankless hot water heater and you'll be replacing that very expensive piece of equipment within two or three years. Also, that hard water will create a lot of staining. It causes layer after layer within your um, whatever comes into contact with. So the inside of the pipes start to get smaller because water, as the hardness accumulates on, on those surfaces, will also make your dishwasher um, your washing machine, anything that comes into contact with water lasts, um, not last as long. So it needs to be addressed. Also with hard water, you use a lot more soap, makes your home a lot more difficult to keep clean. So we have a number of uh, um, hard water solutions for uh, p folks on city water. You can go with a high efficiency water softener like this one. There's certain models that also remove the chlorine, which is a great benefit. It's a high efficiency water softener, uses very little salt, very little water. You can go with a standard efficiency uh, water softener like this one here. Um, that will also uh, uh, treat your, your city water. Another concern with municipal water is chlorine in the water. So why do municipalities put chlorine? It's to make sure the water is bacteria free. The problem is they put lots of chlorine in that water and that chlorine isn't actually very good for you. And uh, so a recent report here, uh, according to the Government of Canada, this is a quote, a recent survey uh, showed an increased risk of bladder and possibly colon cancer in people who drink chlorinated water for 35 years or more. So um, it's a concern. It also makes your water taste awful. It makes your coffee and your tea taste awful. It's very hard on your skin. If you have someone in your family that has sensitive skin, they'll likely have rashes if your water is chlorinated. So what do you do about that? Again, we have a water softener like this high efficiency one that has a built-in filter to remove chlorine from your water. So that's a really good solution. Two for one, water softener and chlorine removal in one piece of equipment. Or you can go with a piece of equipment like this, which is a standalone backwashable whole house um, chlorine filter to remove all the chlorine in your, wa in your household water. When we get to drinking water, we also need to uh, think about that. A lot of municipalities, the mineral content is very high in the water. Um, there's, uh, we just talked about chlorine being in the water, etc. What can you do about that for your family? Reverse osmosis drinking water system like this one here can be mounted underneath the kitchen sink or in the basement, depending on the configuration of your home. Give you great tasting water, your family will love it.